I'm Summer, your Destination Imagination representative from the City of Reset. And here's this month's Instant Challenge Recap, showcasing teams from around the globe tackling DI challenges. For this challenge, teams are tasked with building a freestanding structure that is as tall as possible and is only made of paper. Teams are provided with 20 sheets of paper, are encouraged to use the paper in different and creative ways, and when they finish, the tower must be stable enough to be measured. Let's check out some teams taking on the Paper Tower Instant Challenge. First up, the DI Scoverers from Salisbury Middle School in Salisbury, Maryland. The team starts with a plan to build columns separated by flat sheets of paper. It works until they get to a point where the flat sheets are not stable enough. But can they make a new plan in time? I think we need to start putting three because they're starting to okay. get... Wait. Yeah, I think we need to put three. Can um, you do that? Oh, oh, no, no, no. 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 <laughs> Their papers fall, but they've got enough time to rebuild and come out with a great final tower. Now over to Wuhan, China with Team Wildcats at their first DI session. They start with the cylinder and platform method, but the plan quickly falls through. Wait, wait, wait. Oh! Okay, with time running out, they devise a new plan, folding the papers into fan shapes and alternating them in a big stack. And it looks way cool, too. Here are some photos submitted by other teams taking on the Paper Tower Challenge. Here's Team D.I. of the Tiger from Spring, Texas, posing for a photo with their tower holding some crazy puppets. These are the Eagles from Queen Elizabeth Public School in Ontario, Canada. They had their tower fall a few times before completion, but finished up with this super tall structure. The DI Knights from Sugarland, Texas used some color paper to create these crazy paper towers. And the Pi DIers from Katy High School in Katy, Texas used a set of columns to create a strong base, then worked their way up with layer after layer, creating this incredibly tall tower. Our next team is the Creative Cans from the Cayman International School. This was their first team meeting and first challenge. And they built a 66 inch tower, taller than all of their team members. Here's footage of two teams from Ledgeview Elementary School in Clarence, New York. One team worked to create a wider structure with smaller levels, while the other went for the tall column approach. Next, we have a high school Go. DI team from Camden, New Jersey. They immediately started working as a team to create folded pillars. With half of their time remaining, they've created a pretty strong, stable base. With 10 seconds remaining, they go for one more final folded piece of paper to build it up even further. Let's see how it plays out. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> and down it goes. A great effort. This challenge is not as easy as it seems. Let's finish up with a few more teams showing off their paper towers. That wraps up this episode of the DI Instant Challenge Recap. Next month, we'll be featuring the On the Ball Challenge. Paper Tower, On the Ball, along with all other instant challenges that are found on the DI Instant Challenge Recap can be found in the 2014-2015 DI program materials. Visit this website to learn more about starting a DI team and visit this website for the details on how to submit your video or photos for a chance to be featured in the next episode.